Hi everyone, Elsa the Bargain Hunter here. Welcome back to my channel. As you can see, the setting is a little bit different today. I am downstairs in the basement. I have been working down here since yesterday. And um, I decided I wanted to try out the lighting down here um, and see how it would look. And um, it's also quieter down here. So that's a plus for me. And um, just to show you guys a quick little... Um, something of what I've been doing since yesterday trying to organize all my buckets containers and stuff like that <clears throat> but I'm also on here for another purpose but I will let you guys know that as soon as I uh, turn the camera around slowly and show you guys what I have going on so far um I've got a little bit of a mess let me just slowly turn this so these are my shells right there that I have these shells right here and I've been um, organizing it to the best of my ability that's what that's looking like so far I have some of the containers there and then this is all on the table that backing right there let me move this that backing right there it's actually a shower curtain a zebra shower curtain that I got on clearance a long time ago but nobody really liked it, so I said, okay, fine. I just put it on the wall there to give it some view. My 2020 vision board is a little covered right now because I have these containers right here. It's all the ones from Dollar Tree. Got them stacked up there for now until I get some more shelving. But yeah, this is what the table's looking like so far. Not too bad. Anyway, guys, just figured since I was down here, show you guys that. I'm on here. Uh, because my daughter requested it that I do a video first from her and I was like sure how can I say no so this is what's going on um, a lot of you guys know Eli my grandson one of my six grandkids and um, he's very well known here by you guys and you guys give him a lot of love and I really do appreciate that and my daughter does too and she happened to mention to me today that <clears throat> You know, because I always let her know when I get an entry in, and she gets very excited um, in friend mail and stuff, and when there's friend mail for Eli. And uh, we were trying to, Eli's birthday's coming up on the 5th. Um, he's going to be 5 in April. And um, she's, like every year, she's um, trying to figure out what to do for him. I told her to go as cheap as possible because Eli said he doesn't want a party. He just wants the gifts. <laughs> Typical kid, right? But, you know, she wants to do something for him. It's her only child. And um, she wants to do something for him. So we're thinking um, a bouncy house and stuff like that. So it might be outside. It's going to be in April. and um, But she's stuck on out outdoor birthday activities. So she said, she asked me to come on. And she says, Ma, your subscribers... Um, support you and they help you out a lot do you think they can help me out and I know there's a lot of your subscribers you're close to um because she knows that I talk to a few of you guys off of YouTube aside from comments and stuff and um she says mom they're very supportive of you and I know they love Eli do you think they can help us out because I do help her you know with planning and stuff do you think they can help us out because I'm stuck on outdoor um birthday activities so I told her, sure, Mama, I'll go on and see, you know, the stores. Either we get some advice or we don't. And I let her know that there are <clears throat> a few mothers and a few grandmothers in my um, in my YouTube family. And I knew that, were, that you guys would help me out. So basically, what we're looking for is ideas, just ideas. Um, what are the best outdoor backyard activities for a five-year-old? Um, even though he just wants his gifts, <laughs> we want to make it memorable for him. And, uh, we don't want the kids to be bored. You know, not, I know they're not going to be bored anyway, but we want the kid. we don't want the kids to be bored. So she wants to try, um, different activities. You know, growing up, we did pin the tail on the donkey and stuff like that, but these kids aren't going to go for that. So for the younger mothers out there. You guys probably have a better idea than us grandparents because us grandparents stick to the old-fashioned stuff. 
but I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, but I know I stick to the old-fashioned stuff. So if you guys can help me out, help us out, help Eli out with any suggestions for outdoor, outdoor birthday activities. Yeah, I guess that's what you would call it. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be in April. He'll be five. So far, right now, we're planning a bouncy house, hot dogs and burgers for the kids, depending on the weather. And maybe, I told her, maybe cooking for the adults. I told her it's a kid's party. Let's try to avoid cooking, you know. We can, if it's nice enough, we'll do burgers and hot dogs, but we also need a plan B in case it's not nice outside to have a little small cookout. Usually around August, it's pretty decent weather, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. So yeah, that's basically it. If you guys can help us out with that, that'll be awesome. Um, if you have my email, my um, phone number, uh, whatever, whatever you guys have of communicating with me, even just in the description, in the comments below. Just let us know. She'll be watching this video and um, hopefully jotting down the ideas and not leaving it up to mom to do that. Daughter. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. I gotta, I want to do some crafting since I'm down here. It's more peaceful, more quiet, so I'm going to work on that. All right, guys, talk to you later, and thanks in advance. Bye.